Well, 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 what is up my AMC fam? <laughs> what is up my Jamie family? What is up my retail fam? It's Bo Mike coming at you from the park out here at Cal Oaks, Marietta, here in Southern California. Okay, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. And before I get started, yes, 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 go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, okay? Now I'm looking at my watch. It's about 7.10 out here in the West Coast, here in sunny Southern California. It's been a beautiful day. Just got back from the pool pretty much all day. And there's a couple things I want to mention. Now, if you hear the wind, I'm going to try to block it with my hand. If you hear the wind, my apologies. Now, I do want to say this. Do I believe a word j Powell is saying? And the answer to that is simply no. Okay, I do not, I do not believe a word he's saying. I don't believe his body language, um, his tone of his voice, uh, his dialect. I don't believe anything about this guy, okay? Now, let me ask you one question before I go on. When was the last time the Federal Reserve or anybody from the White House told us the truth about anything ever? I'll wait, <laughs> ever. They don't. The retail investor, right? When it comes to money, the retail investor is always last to know. I'm sticking by that. I'm not going anywhere regarding this. Now, the rate hike came out and it was 75 basis points. Fine. Price in the market, I can see that. Market pushed up. The market liked it. That is fine. I'm okay with that. Now, JPL just switched a couple of words around. Uh, you know, even the, the definition of a recession. Hey, it is what it is. Give it a name. Totally fine. Over the next couple of months, they still have about two months before the next rate hike. Over the next two rate hikes, okay, it's a little bit longer than two months, you're talking about 1% or maybe 250 basis point rate hikes. A total of 1% over the two next rate hikes is what they're looking at. That's what you believe? Fine. But from now till September, there's a lot of things that can happen. And that's when the next rate hike happens. If you believe for one second, it's gonna be 50 basis points. If you can believe that, like I said before, I got a bridge I wanna sell you. Something I wanna give you. It's a great price. Hit me up. Now also, starting tomorrow, GDP. GDP is coming out, I say it's gonna be a big miss. Now, if it's not, the market's gonna push up green, everything's gonna be fine. My stance on the market has not changed. Do I think we've seen the downside, the bottom? The answer to that, simply no. Because again, I truly believe they would never tell the retail investor that everyday man, work, uh, woman working, they would never tell us the truth. They'll rather spit on our face, piss on our head, and say it's raining. Then when all hell breaks loose, we have no idea what happened. We don't know how we got there. Protect yourselves. And they'll try to give us advice of how to survive. Now, housing market, you know my sense on that. People say, oh, plateau. People say, it's not gonna drop that far. I haven't had somebody message me and say, you know what, it only dropped like 15%. Really? 15% is a pretty uh, big impact when it comes to the market. Now, if it goes above 15%, 13%, 18%, you know, how big of an impact will it have? It will have a major impact. But let's start off just tomorrow with GDP, earnings for Apple, Roku, I believe Amazon. But see what GDP happens. Let's see what comes up with GDP. It's a bad number, let's see how the market reacts. Let me see how much confidence they have now. I'm gonna say this, the bottom is not in, it's not even close to being in. And for that, I put my money where the mouth is, okay? So before market closed today, this is what I did. I played options, some scary options, volatile options. So if the market's green tomorrow, I stand to lose a lot of money. I'm okay with that. Like I told you before, I'm a gambling man at heart. So I have the VIX, I have a bunch of calls on the VIX. Expiring this Friday. Also on SPY, I have a bunch of puts on SPY. At the $400 strike price, the $395 strike price, the $390 strike price, $385 strike price. Now, all expiring this Friday. It's a lot of money I have up. If the market's green tomorrow and I lose, totally fine. I'm okay with that because I believe what I believe. I understand what I understand. I know what I know and I see what I see. I see bullshit when I see bullshit. j Powell, straight bullshit. They're never gonna tell us, the retail investor, what is going on. Like I say, AMC family, GME family, or retail family, protect your assets, watch your back, and understand something. They're never gonna tell us the truth, not even close. The retail investor is always last to know. See you tomorrow. See what happens in the morning. Peace.